You're wired in smallcapvoice.com. Following is a presentation of smallcapvoice.com, today's leader in investor relations, capital formation, and retail support. Now, with your online business briefing, smallcapvoice.com's Stuart T. Smith. Welcome one, welcome all to this online business briefing brought to you by smallcapvoice.com. And as you heard, I'm your host, Stuart Smith, and we are joined once again today by Rocky Mountain High Brands Incorporated, traded on the over-the-counter exchange under the ticker symbol RM. HB, and this time we're welcoming back to the show the founder of Rocky Mountain High Brands, Mr. Jerry Grisafi. Jerry, how are you doing today? I'm doing really good, Stuart. Except for the rain, we're doing great. That's right, except for the rain. We're both in Texas, and we are both just about underwater. Uh, well, Jerry, there's been a tremendous amount of news for your company, and fortunately, elsewhere in this country, such as upstate New York, is not underwater in a deluge of rain, because you and your company will be sponsors at the Mountain Jam Festival in Hunter Mountain, New York. That starts today, June 2nd, and this is one of several opportunities your company has to sponsor these events and raise the awareness and brand recognition and name recognition for your company. But let's start with that. Tell us a little bit about the Mountain Jam Festival in Hunter Mountain, New York. Well, Mountain Jam, we did it last year in a smaller way, and this year we outbid uh, two of the big boys to be the exclusive drink on Hunter Mountain and Mountain Jam and the, I think the Taste of the Taste of the Mountains next week. We feel very honored and uh, understand Dan, early this morning, talking to our people there, that product's being well accepted. Most of all the venues are selling our drinks there. It's really exciting really to know is. that Rocky Mountain High is on the mountains there, that the two biggest players in the industry aren't there. So I'm, I'm honored that we, we actually did that, and we got a good deal on it. People what? really are... are seeing what our drink is now. Well, you've got a captive audience, as you just said. You are the exclusive up there. Now, not only that, I hope all the listeners who maybe didn't read the press release understand that Rolling Stone magazine, along with other note, where the national publication consistently rates the Mountain Jam as one of the top music festivals in the country. So this is a great opportunity for you and your company. But you're not done there. You're also sponsoring a music contest with Empire Sound Studios. Now, that contest kicks off right in our backyard here in Dallas, Texas. Tell us a little bit about this music contest with Empire Sound Studio. Well, Empire Sound Studio is probably one of the leading recording studios in the country, and it rivals anything in Nashville. I mean, these guys, Alex Gerst is, is well known in the music industry as being, you know, a Grammy Award winner and, and so on and so forth. He has a studio here, and our CEO, Michael Welch, came up with the idea of a Battle of the Bands deal where we could feature uh, new bands coming in, in in certain areas of the country, which will have a tour for them. And, you know, part of that, you know, they're going to write their music, play their music, and, and let us know what's going on. And hopefully the winner in each area will get to have a free recording at Alex Nurse Studio. You know, part of that was brought on by another cutting little group all called Hillbilly Vegas, which y'all haven't heard about yet, but... This is a band that just played last weekend at the Charlotte Five Six Hundred, and they're playing a lot of NASCAR events. Uh, they're getting ready to record a song, "Rocky Mountain High Time for a Good Time," which I think everybody's going to love this tune when it comes out. Uh, pretty much dedicated to us, and we're going to get behind these boys too and try to get spread Rocky Mountain High through through the social media of all the music venues out there. Uh, many of our target audience, that's all they do is listen to music. Well, you know what? And that's a familiar path. We know the Monster Energy Drink path. They do the Mayhem Festival every summer. Now you've got your path here. Back-to-back -back years up at Hunter Mountain. You've got this new one with the uh, the Empire Sound Studio. But more than that, the company's been very active on a couple of other fronts. Since our last recording, your company's completed its initial run of its first edible hemp-infused product. And also, you teamed up with Ojai Energetics. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly why is correct all right great well let's start with the edibles tell us a little bit about that our first edible we have uh is a brownie which i just got in today and we're getting ready to put them up on the, on the website now so people can actually order them and some of the distributors will have them in their hands there won't be a lot to start with because we didn't build a whole lot to start with we just want to make sure 
that it's accepted without because they're perishable items. So I, I'm not building a whole bunch at the beginning. Um, we're we're getting them out to you know see how the market reacts to them. That's prudent thinking. And tell us a little bit about the work you're doing with Ohio Energetics then. Well, Will Klein and the, the head of Ohio Energetics is a very dynamic scientist type guy who has put together a, a soluble organic CBD product that, that is really highly concentrated. And we're working with him right now in our flavor house and we're developing the first CBD drink for Rocky Mountain High, which Hopefully it'll be finished here in the next week or two, and then we'll do some testing on it around here with some people, and then put it in a can and start selling it. So new products, new awareness, new sponsorships, and then this press release. Listeners, refer back to it using that ticker symbol again, RMHB. May 31st, this one came out. Rocky Mountain High Brands Incorporated discusses transparency and future corporate growth. New market tier will create a path that will fuel nationwide expansion. And of course, when we talk about a new market tier, that's an uplisting or an upgrade to the OTC QB, which does does lead to higher transparency. So let's talk about the corporate side of things for a little bit, Jerry. Obviously, we've talked about the product side. Let's talk about the corporate side. Give us your thoughts here. All right, the corporate side, very simple. We've got to get out of the pink sheets. That's, that's where all the problems arise when you're a small company. You get people that bash you. you got people that try to short your stock, that, that say nasty things about you. You know, I kind of be like Donald Trump here. You know, to hell with these guys. All they are out is to destroy small companies, to destroy the American dream. And we don't care. Let them talk what they want to talk. They're not going to win. We have a great product, and we're going to go from there. But the transparency is we're very close to having our Form 10 finished, which will uplift us to the QB and our our filings with the uh, OTC markets. That's that's our next step. Uh, We have uh, several... uh, Stock houses that are interested in, you know, adding funding to us now that we're going to become, become fully reporting. So we're really excited about getting out of the pinks, getting away from all the, the bad things of the pink sheets, and, and becoming a real company here because we have a real product and real people. And you know, I'll say this: people bash you and talk about you. you don't have big, big sales, but the sales are coming. Uh, your first year, you got to go through all the pitfalls and, and the problems of. Smaller distributors that don't make it or stores that don't, you know, we, we learned from some mistakes now. We're ready to move in with the big boys. We're talking to several major players in the marketplace as far as selling product, and I think we'll be able to announce something fairly soon on that, which I think will make all of our shareholders very happy. Well, there you go. And listen, the company's life cycle, a corporate life cycle of any young company is not a straight upward trajectory type of thing. I like what you said there. You've got to grow. You've got to learn from your mistakes. You've got to improve over time. And you're doing that in several different areas. But how could we know until you uplist to the QB for that increased transparency where we can see the audited financials that are filed with the SEC? Again, a big move for your company. And that's what you mentioned when you talk about those stock houses, there's several investors and groups and brokerage firms that just won't even deal with the pink sheet company. So I'm sure that's uh, good news for your listeners and kudos to you. Well, listeners, once again, as I mentioned, we're speaking with Jerry Grisafi. He's the founder of Rocky Mountain High Brands Incorporated, traded under the ticker symbol RMHB. If you want to learn more about the company or become a distributor, you can reach out to Chuck Smith. That's Chuck at Rocky Mountain High Brands or just go visit RockyMountainHighBrands.com. As always, Jerry, thank you very much for time out of your very busy schedule. We look forward to more great things from you and your company in 2016, and we look forward to talking with you again. 